boys and girls, good morning. Welcome to day three of quarantine here in Indonesia. I thought I was going to have gone 100% crazy by now. Local out of my mind, but you don't realize until you actually sit down and are forced to just concentrate on everything that you have, how much you have to do, or at least I have to do. And I got three different books. I got full YouTube black hole tutorials going of just stretches and workouts and mobility routines. I have edits I'm catching up on and just a lot of things that I'm actually pretty stoked on. So day three quarantine, I wanted to make this video to you guys to show you how I make bulletproof coffee without a French press, without a coffee grinder, without a blender, and I do it all over the world. I do it randomly. It's not the highest quality taste that you can get, but when you're talking about energy and you're talking about saving money and you're talking about feeling good, this is the dream. So we're gonna jump into this right now. I'll show you guys my little station that has just been getting absolutely worked over here. And we're gonna start off by showing you exactly what you need to make this happen. Where is all my stuff? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I jammed everything into this backpack yesterday to get some weight going for the oblique exercises. <laughs> so the first thing you're gonna need is coffee. And I know everybody likes to think that you shouldn't grind it super fine, but that is only because it seeps through the last pour of the French press, which you can stop by just not using that last little bit. But we don't have a French press right now. So the more fine ground your coffee is, then the more the water will actually be able to absorb around each little coffee ground molecule. And if you have good coffee, like Bulletproof Coffee Beans, 100% of the grounds, if the water is hot and boiling, a little bit below boiling is better because you don't want to burn it all, but they will sink to the bottom of the glass. So the next thing you're going to need, preferably it would be a gigantic pint glass or maybe two of them. I only have these little ones, so I have been doing a couple teaspoons of the coffee in each one. Ration it out, half a scoop, half a scoop, half a scoop. We're actually gonna do four because it's like almost a full French press, which is a liter. And boom. If you're feeling a little more frisky, I go super light on the beans, especially when they're high quality because you don't need so much. But if you're a big coffee drinker, do whatever your portion that you would normally throw into a French press is and heat some water up. If you're on the road though, I'm claiming 7-Eleven, random gas stations, or Starbucks. If you walk in, have a dollar on you, ask them for some hot water, and then when they try to give it to you for free, act like you're gonna give them the dollar, be surprised that they're gonna give you the free water, and then you're stoking. If you have a French press, you don't need to do this, but if you don't have a French press and you're packing light like I am, this is when you heat up your water, pour it into these cups here, and you wait four or five minutes to be sure until the liquid, you will see, turns clear kind of at the top and super dark at the bottom. So while that water's heating up, I'll show you guys the two ingredients that you're gonna need. Bulletproof made these life-changing, individually wrapped tablespoons of brain octane oil. And if you guys know anything about how fine brain octane oil is, they have tried for years to make a cap on the bottles that doesn't leak once it's open. They've never done it successfully. They think they have, they haven't. The best trick that I've ever found is opening the top, putting a piece of saran wrap over it and then capping it. But even then you're still gonna get a little bit of leak and you're probably gonna show up at your destination with all of your clothes having portions of stains in it, your mattresses. I've lost so many things to it, but these are beautiful because they do not spill. They're super easy to travel with. You can bring 50 of them on a plane, and if you're not checking a bag like I didn't, you can't bring that much liquid unless they're individually wrapped. So this is the first thing you're gonna need. The second ingredient you're gonna need is any form of butter that comes from cows that ate grass. I prefer Kerrygold just because it's a guarantee, and I've been doing it for years, and I know that they're on point but any butter that comes from cows that ate grass is a completely different beast and shouldn't be even related to the same category as butters that come from cows that were eating conventional corn and pumped with antibiotics and just, it's just a whole different topic, it's not butter. So all you need is one packet of brain octane oil, that's a tablespoon, and then I use two tablespoons of the Kerrygold butter. This is not a beginner video, this is kind of for experts that have led up to this point with their coffee making. 
if you are just starting, work your way up. Do a half tablespoon of MCT oil or brain octane and then do like a tablespoon or maybe even a little bit less of the butter because at first your body might not even be able to create the bile that's gonna then break down the fats and it's a whole process. Just you don't wanna overdo it at first. So once the water is all boiled, I honestly don't like 212 degree hot steaming boiling water smashing into the beans because I feel like it kind of burns it and gives it a weird taste. So I pour just a dash of cold water into the already boiling water to give it that perfect temperature to not destroy the flavor. And you're just pouring it right into these cups, top them off. You're gonna see how dark it is at first and you're also not gonna get all of the liquid that you're seeing right now. You're gonna lose at least an inch and a half of the bottom. I'm also not tripping over what people think about stirring it. Maybe you're not supposed to. If you don't stir it and you have that giant black portion of fresh dry coffee beans on the top, you're gonna have a problem. Okay, so while the coffee is brewing, this is where it gets critical. I have this thermos from Contigo to 24 ounce. They don't even sell it in stores. I got it at Amazon because it's the big boy and you can fit almost a full French press in here, but it has a locking mechanism on the top and it has a pressure release seal. So you can lock it and you can't release the pressure and then you can unlock it, release the pressure and that's also the drinking nozzle. So the reason that is so critical is because Bulletproof coffee has butter and MCT oil in it along with the coffee and just that oily concoction in a cup sitting there trying to get down your neck is disgusting. And there's also a scientific term behind it when you blend it and it takes the coffee itself, the molecule that gives you the jitters and it puts it inside of a fat molecule and fat is very slow digesting in your body. So you have all this fat that's being burned over the course of a couple hours and as the fat is being burned from the butter and the MCT oil, you're getting a slow drip of the caffeine that is within the fat molecule. It's a crazy process, but it's called mycelization. And when you blend and you get that gigantic froth, that's when it's delicious. If you've had a bad experience with Bulletproof because you're just putting weird butter in a mug of bad coffee and pouring oil on top of it and then trying to pallet it, you're literally getting all of the butter and all of the oil and all the fats in your first two sips, 40 grams of insane amounts of fats, and then you probably have a stomach ache, or you probably got the runs, or just some terrible experience, and that is not what Bulletproof Coffee is. You have to blend it. I don't even believe in using those little mixer things, the little froth guys, but when you're on the go, it's not that bad, and it does do the job. This thing right here, though, you guys seen in two videos ago, I go crazy with the shaking. So while that coffee is brewing, I take one packet, which is one tablespoon of the brain octane oil, put it in the thermos, honestly very satiating. And then normally I would do two tablespoons of the butter, but because I only brought one brick for this whole entire trip, I'm kind of cutting it short and I'm just trying to be consuming less throughout this whole entire trip, I'm doing one tablespoon of the butter. It's probably scares some of you guys, right? Never been less afraid of anything. Right in there. I honestly have so many small hacks in between all these things that I'm telling you that just are too long to fit in this video. All right, so we got the oil and the butter, which is the whole bulletproof concoction in the thermos. Four minutes has gone by. Look at the difference in the bottom layer to the top layer of this brewed coffee. Can we see how all the grounds have dropped to the bottom and there's a difference in layers from the top clear coffee beverage to the grounds on the bottom? You don't even need a French press. So this is when we figure out how coordinated you are. I have this whole rig set up here because it does get messy. Once you see the grounds coming, just slow your pour down and the liquid goes right around it, boom. All grounds at the bottom, round two. Third one. Oh, that one molded to the bottom. That was a good one. First things first though, make sure you guys are drinking water before you jump into coffee. There's probably nothing worse you can do than starting your day with coffee, but it's amazing to start your day with coffee if you've already slugged at least a half a liter. Just neck a glass, get your body's metabolism going, get everything running the way it should be. You're made up of water, so put that water back in you and then go to actually trying to utilize some things to get energy. But if you're not drinking water and you're lacking energy and you're trying to get that energy from coffee, you're kind of blown it. So this is what it would look like if we did absolutely nothing. Just a pile of gross oils on top of your coffee. You can stir it all you want. It's just gonna get right back up top. And that is when this thermos comes in to save the day. Drop the top. Lock the top and get to work.
that footage again. It was too classic. Unlock this pop top. You love to hear the pressure release. If you don't have that, good luck. I don't even know what to tell you. This is when the magic happens. Look at the froth on her. No blender. And that will subside over time. So I just do a little pour action, maybe half a mug. Once you see the froth kind of going away, cap it, keep it warm. And whenever you're done with this cup or your first cup or your half cup, however much you're doing, give it another shake. And I just always try to enjoy that top froth section. And there you have it. You make bulletproof coffee with basically nothing. No French press, no blender, no grinder, as long as you pre-ground your beans and you are enjoying just the most delicious cup of coffee for energy, for sustainability, for your health, and the butyrate, that's all I gotta say. Get that butyrate in your body. There are so many other things that I could touch base on. There are so many different things that you could add into this, different collagens, different vanillas, different chocolates. If you don't like the flavor of a certain way, you can tweak it. You can use less coffee grounds. You can use decaf coffee beans weird, but to each his own. And you could also do this with tea. You could do it with anything that's hot that you can melt butter into, blend up or shake up, and you are chocolate dreaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As much as I just enjoyed that, whew, drop a thumbs up for the dream so I can keep these videos coming. Drop a subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and let me know in the comments what other types of videos you want to see in the future. If it's something like this, if it's something health related. I have a secondary channel that is kind of based more around health and workout and fitness, but I'm not a professional and I have no certifications and I feel kind of weird dropping too much content on there, but sometimes I do it when it's something that I've learned that has helped me. And when I can share that kind of thing with you guys, it makes my life complete. So thanks for watching. Thanks for stoking. We'll see you guys manana. I feel like this video was long enough on its own. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.